this will be the s uh, darkness seeds. Oops. 40. Darkness seeds. Set. Oh, wait. Add. Alright. Let's block off all the light that we can block off. Alright, and go back home. And here, I'm going to set normal pipe. And, oops. Darkness Siege, receive true. And actually I think I'm gonna route this to... Thumbcraft items. This is... makes more logic because I'm gonna maybe create other stuff as well. Out in the wilderness that will create stuff for me. Let's make sure that is the right name. Yeah, Thumbcraft items. And still no creepers, thank you. And let's just set up a teleport tether. Teleport tether. With one lapis surrounded by a lot of iron. Because I used all the teleport tethers that I had. So I'm just gonna place it down like this. And there we go. Fire and forget, just the way I like it. Oh, I just came into my bitcraft room and noticed what may have been the problem all this time. I'm using more waters and four engines that I'm generating. So it's not uh, a piping system. It's not like uh, five engines take more out of what the pipes can supply, but my pump can't handle this. So let's go back out here. Kill this creeper first. And this creeper as well. Whoa! Alright, then let's see if we can do anything about it. The only proper solution that I can think of is change my uh, water supplying system. Yeah, I got four redstone engines running better than this. I can't actually do. So what I'm gonna do for now is take off one engine. Simply kill one of them. So I don't explode again. And I should start seeing my water levels going up. It's fluctuating, but goes up more than it should go down. Yeah, there we go. So I want to get some liquid transport pipes and rearrange the entire way this thing works. So for a liquid transport pipe, you need basic logistic pipe, lapis, and buckets. How many basic pipes I have? Not enough. What do I need for one? Clearly not enough. I need two diamonds for one. I'm going to cannibalize a little bit. So let's see here. For now, I just need five uh, liquid supply pipes. I'm going to make more because I want to get some geothermal energy farm at some point. So let's target a bucket and let's cannibalize on all of this crap. I don't need this and I don't need all these eggs as well. And let's burn all this crap. All right, so let's get four buckets for now. One, two, one, two, three. And again, what the recipe for a basic logistic pipe? Need one diamond transport pipe. I already got them, no problem. So I need um, just some gold gears. That's the 
Achilles heel for me. So let's, well, that's a lot of copper that I don't really need. Exactly eight. So we're gonna need some iron as well. Alright, I'm gonna make some cogs, mirror deck. Alright, so we got the diamond gears. And the recipe is two diamond gears, glass all around, and diamond pipe and some torches. craft this, I need a bucket here, and lapis. So let's get more buckets. Um, what can we cannibalize on? Let's get some of this coal. Target the bucket and just burn everything. So we need six more. One, two, three, more, four, five, six. And this one will be our target bucket for the future. So get this here. All right, so we got the liquid supplier pipes. Now we're gonna need um, a transposer. By the way, if you're not following me, I'm making a mirror deck. Let me clean my inventory first. So what I was saying is that if you're not familiar with what I'm doing, is uh, making uh, a system from I made from one of the tutorials, which is uh, to use liquid supplier pipes to keep your engines always full of water, and it's much more efficient than uh, a pump and that stuff. So you do it with liquid supplier pipes. I'm going to need um, some basic logistic pipe as well. I'm just going to take the one here. And I don't exactly recall what else do I need. All right, I need a, turn I need, um, a deployer. Let's see for deployer. Whoops. For deployer, I just need a chest, a piston, and redstone. Chest. Let's get some more pistons. Alright, so chest goes here, piston goes here, some redstone goes here, and this will go all around. Alright, so we've got the transposer. Uh, I'm going to the filter as well. Filter. I'm going to need some red dope wafer, and hopefully I have some. Alright, so filter, two gold ingots. Um, need one more. This should do the trick. So, piston goes here, two gold ingots go here. Red up wafer goes here, and the cobblestone go here. And we got our filter. Alright, so Quickly, let's turn our engines down. Um, let's take this introduction torches for now. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... Um, well, I do want to keep some water tank here. I want to have some water, always to have some water in here for the future. But the rest of this is pointless. So let's kill all of these pipes. Kill this as well. Whoops. Whoa, creeper. Hello. Where is it? Where's my cobblestone? Alright, so put all of this down. And kill this as well. I don't need you for now. Let's fill the holes up. Alright, so I'm gonna place a liquid supplier pipe on each and every one of those, but let me get some 
water buckets first. Let's see here, I'm getting just a normal bucket. Take some water out of here. And place the piping this way. Place one, right click with a wrench and set it to always keep stocked of 24 liquid uh, volumes of water buckets. So I'm gonna set this up for all of these engines, be right back. All right, so I set all of the pipings uh, down and I also made an infinite water source pool here, a deployer, a filter with the water bucket as its target and a chest. Next, I'm going to need a timer for these uh, things. So let me make one quickly and I'll be right back. All right, so we got a timer and some redstone alloy wire. So let's make some more room in here. Um, clean this up. All right, so for the entire system, oops, this will be the default route for everything. Okay. This will be the supplier pipe for water buckets. Or is it? I should have a supplier pipe somewhere in here. No wait, the provider pipe, my bad. Like um let's have it like this, I guess. This provide everything. No, it is provide only water pipes, not everything. Otherwise, I'm gonna have some sort of a different loop here that I don't want. Here, I'm going to set my timers. Um, let's place it. Let's also have a lever here, just in case. I don't actually plan on using it, but uh, let's have it. So let me get one lever. Right, so I'm gonna set up the timer like this. And some red alloy wire. There we go. And set up the lever here and set this to every 450. Can I go faster? Yes, I can. Can I go even faster? No. You can see by the filter that uh, 0.4 is the fastest that I can go. All right, now I'm just now gonna need a lot of buckets. Let's target buckets. Whoops. Place them all inside the deployer. Um, what's up? I'm getting some weird issues in here. No, I turned this off. Why is this happening? This is not supposed to happen. Or apparently, <laughs> the deployer can take buckets even further away from one block. That's a change I'm, that I'm not aware of. Well, we can solve this by simply increasing the timer, but... Uh... Alright, should be enough. Let's even increase it a little bit more. That's not what's going to kill us. Alright, so now set up some basic wires, uh, basic uh, pipings. Any type of pipings will do. Let's get some stone pipings. Doesn't actually matter. Have it connected like this. And like... Uh, I can't connect it like this. I need, I need another basic pipe here and connect it like this. All right, turn this on. And now, we should get a very easy what's happening. Um, 
Um, I have no clue what's happening. Is this the default route? Yes. Let's also take empty bucket just... Just in case. Why aren't empty buckets coming back down? And simply popping in here. Um, this is weird. Let's make, let's clean my inventory a little bit. Alright, so quick testing shows that a volume of combustion engines isn't 24, but only 10. So this is why um, the pipings kept overflowing and sending too many uh, buckets. So need to rearrange all the pipes to take the right amount of liquid buckets. It is out of 24. Just 10. So be right back. Alright, so each pipe set to 10 liquid pipes now. Not uh, not 24, so it should be better. Alright, set, connect this back up again. And have all these buckets thrown in here. And now, as you can see, no buckets are being sent because they don't have to. This thing is full. Let's connect everything back up behind uh, the engines in terms of redstone. Or red wire for that matter. Now there shouldn't be any problems anymore. And I can even run five engines instead of four. Actually, I can run even more if I want, if I'd like. But uh... right, gonna let it run for a bit and see how it goes. And by the way, I just noticed that I'm already having some darkness seeds here. However, they for some reason they don't stack. And I, they got two separate stacks here. But I do have eleven of dar darkness seeds instead of the three that I had before, or four. I don't recall. So it uh, seems that my generator and my teleportation piping system works. Awesome. Still nothing here. So I'm going to do some research a bit. I hope that you guys ever find anything useful. Alright, so I got the potion of purity on torturous difficulty. Not even going to bother with this. However, I might be mistaken with this. I might not be able to get some of these theories on other than torturous. So I don't know. Actually... There is even a reason to bother not learning them. But uh, torturous is really bad. So, and by the way, I noticed that I'm starting to generate more wood than books. So I'm gonna set up a new, another reed farm at some point in the future. I like the fact that I'm getting 95% increase in V with all this silver wood here. So it's really awesome. Another elemental crusher, yeah. All the elemental crushes that I received were torturous, so I assume it can only be torturous. So, not much uh, choice here. Let's just hope for the best. Alright, so let's see how our combustion engines are going. You can see the water is being drained. And once it requires water, it simply takes a bucket out. And all the remaining buckets should come back to... yeah. So this uh, pipe here get refilled and get resent. And I think I'm gonna need more buckets in my system to make it more safe. So let's cannibalize on some iron on some copper here. Where is my bucket? Don't think I have one. All right. Target the bucket and get a lot more of them. Whoops. And let's get more in my system. I'm just gonna place them here. They're gonna get refilled and resent into the system. As you can see, 
The water seems to be fluctuating, but it's actually a lot safer than previously. Because the way they're being collected is a lot faster. So there is no problem whatsoever that may happen. Actually, I can also do it with fuel, but to be honest, I don't really have to. And this solution of uh, liquid pipes, it is a lot cheaper. However, actually with fuel, I can use the same liquid pipes to refill it with fuel. So it might save some time, but again, I don't find it actually very useful. So no really need. All right, so I went ahead for uh, some more monolith farming and actually just found another uh, silverwood trees tree and some uh, shimmer leaf uh, plants so let's collect those and there we go find another monolith hiding between the trees let's see if we're lucky with this one so we're gonna need two v's one taint and one earthen. One, two, three, four. Whoa, only two chests this time. Uh, not very interesting. Is there anything here? Oh, and it's nice. So let's get out of here. Can I climb? Can I fly my way out? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? Apparently, the carpet can push you up in the blocks. No, well, I can't get out. Fortunately. Just get out the normal way. Or well, not so normal when you think about it. Something with these blocks is killing my uh, portals. Need to find a fix for this. But I'm gonna go find another um, monolith. Alright, and just found another one. From quite afar with all this uh, mossy cobblestone here. Alright, so we're gonna need. One V, one Aqueous, Vaporous, and Fiery. There we go. Let's see what's in here. Again, only two chests. Quite disappointing. Uh, and no artifacts again. I was extremely lucky with the first one, but nothing since then. Alright, I want to try to create a Void Crusher. It's supposedly like an underlevel of the Elemental Crusher. Maybe it will make stuff easier. So, and I also got two Void Ingots. Actually, I got three. So let's try creating this. Let's get rid of all this other junk that I don't really need. And I got 24 Silverwood Logs. I think I'm going to make the floor out of the logs. So let's make the Crusher first and then I'm going to do it. Uh, let's see here. I got this and I got this. Let's use the Philosopher's Stone for this. There we go, the Void Crusher. Let's see how fast it breaks stuff. Like a wall. Well, drill is clearly faster. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Maybe the next level Crusher is better. Let's try researching this, this uh, thing. Maybe it will be better. Let's fix this, fix this up first. And try mining it. Uh, try researching it. Let's see here. Turn the cobblestone farm off. And let's get some fragments and some bookshelves. see here. Alright, let's get this in here. What's my chances? 
29 to... Uh, Alright, let's give it a go. Because I'm not really going to use this. Ah, that was a bad idea. Eldritch Mechanism. Not that much use for this. Well, I do get Eldritch Knowledge out of this. Alright, let's see if we can get anything else. At the Totem of Dawn. Hard difficulty. Hard is not that bad. Let's see what this one does. Alright. Totem of Dawn. This totem fills the air with good vibes and positive energy. It probably does the local aura and world a good. It also prevents tainted ground from forming near it. That's exactly what I need. Exactly what I'm looking for. Nice, this is what I want. So I'm going to need some night ore, some V, and some silver logs. Very simple and exactly what I need. So let me get some uh, glowstone and redstone. I'll be right back. Alright, so I actually just made three of those. Let's make the fourth one. And replace it with... Let's start replacing it with the flooring. So this is a different chunk. This is the chunk that I want to start uh, updating. There we go. Also makes for quite a nice floor texture, in my opinion. So I'm gonna have to change eventually all of those into this type of uh, flooring. So I'm gonna start breaking this off and see how it goes. Oh no! Oh please, God, tell me no! No!